Olá pessoal, bem-vindos ao canal Amantes da Aviação. Me chamo Lucas Ribeiro e sou apresentador desse canal. No vídeo de hoje vocês irão ver um documentário sobre o primeiro voo do 777 lá no ano de 1994. O documentário foi produzido pela própria Boeing e está repleto de nostalgia e curiosidades. Para saber mais detalhes do primeiro voo do 777, é só ficar até o final do vídeo. Se você estiver curtindo o nosso conteúdo, clique no botão curtir e se inscreva em nosso canal, não esquecendo de ativar o sino de notificações. standpoint of of how I prepared myself immediately before the flight is the only thing I could do at that stage is get a good night's sleep there's not much you can cram into a last minute uh, hour that you may have of knowledge that will help you make or break the flight First flight is more of an unknown, but not necessarily a higher level of risk. The basic uh, system operation was, was checked out in the integration laboratory. That was the key element, I think, to, to give us confidence from the first flight, uh, that, that we have really analyzed that situation well. And the flight test program then validates what we have done in the simulation. my view, any failure that we find now in the test program or in the integration lab before flight is a success. That's what the service-ready airplane is all about, is to find problems and fix them and not have that process occurring after the customers get the airplane. As much as we have used the word working together, I really think that it has improved the communication. So we had plans and processes in place that communicated problems and everybody could, could work on the solutions together. The customers had a very key role in the, in the whole design process and it put them into a different position, not only in being involved with us early, but in having them make their decisions early. So their input was early, but their decisions from their side were early. What that did for us was allowed us to lock the design up and work the design until we could make it right. Boeing 7771 Heavy Paint, tower runway 34 left, clear for takeoff, wind 150 at 10. A 
I'd say my expectations uh, were more than met. Uh, I did not expect the airplane to go quite as well. I mean, you always are hopeful uh, that it would. I mean, I felt this airplane as a, as a brand new model uh, really did exceptionally well. Okay, Bunny, we're going to proceed on this uh, We have the gear up. We're going to do the alternate retraction now on the, on the alternate flight control. I believe the, the airline pilots that will be eventually manning the 777 fleet will be very pleased when they get their hands on the airplane. It, it provides a lot of capability, it helps them uh, where they can use some help, and yet gives them the ultimate control of the aircraft and having it do what they want it to do. It's a very pleasant airplane to fly. Boeing 7771 Heavy, paying tower, runway 16 right, clear to land. Wind 190 at one. The first flight fits in, obviously, uh, it's the beginning. Uh, it's, from my standpoint, it's, it's perhaps one of the more exciting flights, but from the large view of the test program is just one of the many, many tests that we do. We started out right in the beginning making that test an engineering flight. Not just to get it up and down, but we actually ran tests, we took data, we shut down and relit an engine on the first flight to gather engineering information. So it was the beginning of the process uh, to uh, get the airplane certified and make it service ready for the customer. Se você chegou até aqui, muito obrigado. E se quiser ver a parte 2 desse vídeo, deixe seu comentário. Se você curtiu nosso canal, deixe seu like, se inscreva e ative o sino para não perder os novos vídeos. Até breve!